Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. I can't explain the rush I feel when I explore a new tool which not just solves a unique purpose, but especially when it when I when I uh, when I aspire to share it with a lot of others. I'm excited for two reasons. One because I've learned something new because and there is no replacement for that rush. And second, which is an even bigger rush, is when I start sharing it with you and and that that one instance when you needed something like this and when this does the job there is not a better feeling than this in the entire world on that note my name is kc let's welcome back to digital titans and we would be talking about two interesting amazing tools today which would solve a uh, majority of our problems when we are when we are pressurized with a lot of things to do when we are stuck with Uh, how do you come up with ideas because ideas is something that you can't force upon people you can't say that okay i need 10 ideas right now and, it, and and they just don't come to you right now this tool uh, or these tools would solve the problem i could have made them into two different videos but that's not the idea that's not uh, the goal uh, the the idea is to make sure we come up with something which is exciting uh, that solves the problem than looking at the number of videos Now the the way I have structured this video is we would be talking about these two tools not just that although they sound very similar to each other we would also look at how they work in comparison when when we do things for the same search and and when we search for the same thing on both of these tools let's also understand the difference because that difference will help us when to use what when was the last time you got really stuck where you were just not able to think about an idea about what to write about what should i blog about what should be my next article any blog writer any content writer or any content marketer on that note would uh, would connect to what i'm about to say i am happy that i i found something to write about now however i am already scared about what my next article would be and that's a, that's that's a pain right all of us would have gone through that now if these tools that i'm talking about would solve that problem to a greater extent and this along with the combination of your thought process could actually give a birth to a lot of content ideas and that's exactly what we talk about and i don't want to take any of your time so let's get started the tools that we would be talking about is called are also ask.com which is an alpha version there is there's beta version there's alpha version now alpha version is the tool which is working fine at the moment but there's a lot of things which are expected to come and you're expected to see some minor fixes here and there now though this tool is completely out and it's used by a lot of people it solves a unique purpose uh, what is this tool Now let me clarify before I talk about any of these tools that these tools are not similar to answerthepublic.com. If you want to look at the video that I made about answer the public, you can read I have I'm linking it somewhere here. Now what answer the public does is it basically collates all the Google auto suggest data and gives you an idea of more on the keyword front about what keywords people are looking at. Based upon that you can go ahead and make further decisions. They also have a very beautifully a uh, managed visual representation of the whole thing but this tool is very simple you give a root keyword they will tell you what questions people are interested to know what it also gives you a lot of content ideas as to what you can go ahead and write about next the first tool is called as also ask.com the second tool is called as questiondb.io so let's get started and also ask.com as the name suggests so people also asked for is is what would follow after that Now let's say uh, let's do the same search on both these tools because I really want to see if it actually uh, if, if there is any difference in between these tools. Now let's say I am looking for something. Let's let's try something which is creative. Uh, what do I say? Let's say cooking pasta, right? And let's you can also choose the location. Now obviously. United States gives you a, a, a set of diverse information not just I'm a big fan of the US anyway. So let's say cooking pasta language is English and United States search but before we do the search let's quickly glance through what this is all about. Now it helps you gain an understanding of how questions are typically grouped to inspire writers inform content teams and ensure you're satisfying users and reaching your SEO potential. Satisfying users is such a big responsibility you guys. You have to make sure that you write content that is, that appeals to people. How about writing a thousand word article which is extremely exciting and interesting but people don't care about it because that's not something that it, that would interest them. So in those cases it makes to follow the reverse approach where you start looking at what people want and then write article about it. How cool is that? Right that 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 should be interesting, right? Not just that it helps you uh, satisfying users, it also helps you make sure that you reach your SEO potential. All right? 
Now, what does it do? It will take your search term and show what other questions people also ask. We'll then dig deeper and see how visually each level of questions is typically grouped, blah, blah, blah. Right? Now, then you have, is this same as answer the public? As I said, no. Answer the public basically suggests, curates data based upon Google auto suggestions. Basically, it talks more about the keyword front. Now, this talks about content ideas, questions that people are asking for, questions people would want to know answers to. Right? Then, how is, how is it made? You can read about it. It's an alpha, more to come, so I expect a new set of exciting features to come. So cooking pasta is what we're looking at. And when you're putting in a keyword here, guys, please make sure, do not put keywords like, how do I cook my pasta? What is the best pasta? Do not put things like that. Put your root keyword. Because let Google think, most of the times there is a mistake that we do, uh, the, which is, we don't let the tools work for us. We start working for the tools, right? Now, why are you referring to a tool? Why are you using a tool? You're using a tool because you're expecting something that you can't think about. Then why the hell are we thinking about and feeding the system, which will further narrow down what the tool has to offer? So please cut it down, step, take a step back, put in the root keyword, that's it. Don't, don't struggle too much and don't, don't take too much on your shoulders anyway. All right, so cooking pasta, let's search and let's see what happens. Discovering, capacitating, saddling the unicorn, placing tall beneath. All right, so let's zoom it a little. I hope you're able to see it. Okay, cooking pasta is the root keyword that I have given. And then you see, uh, you see first level of questions. How long do you cook pasta for? How do you cook pasta so it doesn't stick? Mm. I know how to do, cook pasta without sticking. Should you rinse pasta? Hmm. How do you cook pasta in boiling water? Of course, you have to cook pasta in boiling water. Should you cook pasta with lid on or off? Hmm. That's interesting. All right, so let's take a little deep dive. How long do you cook pasta for? Which is, which is very, very important to understand because you don't want to burn it. Can you cook pasta without boiling water first? Should you salt your pasta water? Does salt keep pasta from sticking? Should pasta be cooked in salted water? Do you boil pasta or simmer, right? Now, how about this? What would we have done if we had to come up with an idea of, for content when it comes to pasta? We would have gone to google.com, we would have put in a keyword, we would have looked at tens and thousands of blogs that people are already writing or they've already written. Then we would have started something on, on those lines, but that's still repetition of what, we, what we, uh, people have already done. Uh, how about this? Now, this gives you a fresh canvas to play around with. Start looking at these things, choose what appeals to you, and then take it ahead from there. Not just that, hold on for a second. Now, how do you cook pasta so it doesn't stick, right? I think we have seen this or a similar, okay. Okay, look at this. How do you cook pasta so it doesn't stick is, is one variation of, of questions that people would be interested to know. At the same time, uh, does salt keep pasta from sticking? Now, in a way, both of them are, I wouldn't say same, I wouldn't call it same, but they're talking about the same topic. Now, how about combining both? How do you cook pasta so it doesn't stick? Does salt keep pasta from sticking? So if you start combining these two and start writing something about, or coming up with a, with a title which says that, cooking pasta with salt water so it doesn't stick or you can come up with a creative variation of the of these things right then write an article so it all i'm trying to tell you is you just don't have to blindly follow these things and say i have to write an article only on these please feel free to mix and match things and variations now what happens when i click on some variation it again gets submitted it again starts looking at things uh, it should drill down from there, from whatever we have chosen, right? So we have chosen, how do you cook pasta so it doesn't stick? Then it says, how do you cook pasta so it doesn't stick? Okay. Why does pasta stick together when cooking? Now that's an interesting thing, right? Now this could be your second half of the article where you write about how do you cook pasta without sticking? And why does it stick in the first place? Don't you think people would be interested to know? Now this is this is enticing information that these content or pieces of content or paragraphs like these in your blog posts would make people to stick on and read till the end, right? How do you cook pasta? Okay, boil water, put oil in it, put some salt and then drop pour in your pasta, let it cook for 10 minutes, strain the water. So that's boring as 
held, right? So you would want people to stick on, read more about it. So if I'm also including why does it pass the stick in the first place, then that would be some more information to the user. Satisfying users, ladies and gentlemen, is a big, 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 big deal, right? All right. How do you keep pasta from sticking overnight? Now you have a lot of keyword variations, which otherwise would be very difficult for you to find in one go. Okay. Now let's go back. And by the way, you can also save it as a CSV file. You can also take a screenshot of it. I, I love it. I love this tool. So let's go back and say cooking pasta. The reason I'm going back is because we wanted to compare it with another tool also, right? Now these are the set of variations. So let's see if I can save it as a PNG. Come on. Okay. Uh, also asked cooking pasta. Let's save it. Now let's go back to your question db.com. Now this tool is very clear, right? There, there are two variations. One is free and one is uh, pro. Now free is where you are limited to 10 searches in a month. I don't know. Let's check it out. I hate guesswork though. Okay. Monthly billing. Free is zero dollars for casual ideation and understanding your readers. Maximum 10 results per search. Okay. Download CSV. Complete results up to 800 results per search. Okay. That is interesting. Okay. It's not in the number of times you can search, but it's in the number of results you get per search. Okay. Unlimited searches, API access. Okay. Now it's $10 a month. Not bad at all. If you're, especially if you're a content writer, I think you should seriously consider investing. Now $7 per month is the annual package and the features don't change. That's interesting. So let's go back. Uh, enter in a broad keyword, please. I'm begging you put in a broad keyword. Don't work for the tool. Now example, protein powder backlinks to find questions that have been asked that contain it. Okay. What topic are you writing about? Put in one to three words generate now questions in the database are so many. Why question DB is the best blog topic idea generator. Hmm. Have you ever found a tool which says that they're not the best? Everybody says it. But ultimately, guys, I don't, with all due respect to these tools, ultimately, it's you who has to try things out and figure out if something is suitable to you or not, right? Question DB is not your typical keyword tool. We know that. That's news. It can be incredibly powerful and valuable for writers and marketers trying to grow a blog, but you need to use it correctly. With power comes responsibility. To get started, pick a broad keyword. You're a marketer. You might want to start with SEO or backlinks. I, why does marketers have to start with SEO backlinks always? Not really. Okay, if you're a nutrition writer, start with something like keto or vegan. Okay, interesting. If you choose the right keyword, that will return you a large list of questions. Okay, we know. From there, where you're using a free or a paid version, you can dive deeper. Come up with a list of seed keywords related to your experience, blah, 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 so on. Okay, that's about it. Millions of questions have been asked on various websites over time. These questions reveal what problems have people have, what people care about, what people are interested in. Basically, both of these kinds, both of these tools are trying to address the same problem. They're trying to end your bloody frustration when it comes to not being able to come up with content ideas. Now, you would have to go ahead and start figuring out. You, you would have to start figuring out content ideas, which is very important. So you would have to look at how these tools will help you solve your problem. And I think I, li I like this because it says it is curated from various websites over time. That, that's what this technically means, though I don't claim that they have, they're promising that. So basically, they're looking at what, peop what problems people have, what people are discussing in forums, and then talking about all of these things. Okay, fine. Enough talk. Let's see what happens. I don't want to reinvent the wheel by looking at another search altogether. Let's simply stick to what we already did with the other tool. Let's say cooking pasta. It's already making me hungry. Okay, cooking pasta, new search. These are the content ideas that I got. Cooking fresh pasta, cooking thick fresh egg pasta. Maybe I should try it sometime. Tips for cooking pasta twice. Pasta cooking time versus box instructions. Is salt really necessary for cooking pasta? What's with salt and pasta, people? Is There are so many discussions about salt and including salt and salted water, less salt, more salt, no salt. You, you, you look at where this is going. Cooking dried pasta in sauce. Okay, at least these guys have moved ahead of salt water and they started talking about something related to sauce. Cooking pasta in a 900 watt microwave. Okay, now if you are an affiliate marketer, if you, if you, now this is, this is for you. You are, if you're an affiliate marketer with Amazon, for example, and then you can start talking about a product, which is a microwave 
and you can write an article about cooking pasta in a 900 watt megawatt microwave target people who are interested in pasta cooking pasta eating pasta cooking blah 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 that audience and include a link affiliate link to your uh, product to amazon i think that would that would really be a good strategy to start with so these are the ideas that you get from looking at these things right though these tries though these tools are trying to address the same problem i i see there's a huge difference in the kind of searches that they're offering in the kind of uh, you know suggestions that they're offering so i as I, I always say i am greedy for information and i'm greedy for ideas now what i would do is i would just download this into a csv right let's see if it actually downloads into a csv okay it downloads into a csv i would go to the csv i would look at this file that i've downloaded from also ask.com compare both pick up things from both the tools or do everything that i see and then come up with great content and never ever be frustrated again when it comes to writing content that's it for today any questions feedback suggestions please feel free to drop me an email or comment below uh, try these tools today because i think you don't want to miss out on these things because once you try this tool even after you don't do it every day you will you will still remember that there was something that you learned and when i'm able to help you in those need of us by giving you a small piece of information that really means a lot to me thank you so much subscribe as i always ask you to because your love means a lot thank you so much Cheers until next time. Casey.